That was sick. Let's build some straw rock. What's up, everybody? That's STEM guy here. And today we are going to be talking about rockets. And I am going to show you how to build one of these awesome mini straw rockets out of materials that I bet you have laying around your house right now. And I promise you, this thing is going to be able to bring you, your children, or your students hours of fun. Before we dive into today's build, it's really important that we learn a little bit about the history of rockets, how they work, and the different parts they have, because it's all going to be relevant in putting together our hands on build. Rockets were invented by the Chinese in the 1200s. These early rockets were made from filling bamboo with gunpowder and then some kind of projectile. The gunpowder was lit and the projectile went flying. These early rockets were essentially the first cannons and fireworks. In the 1700s, people started making rockets out of different types of metal. They realized when they landed how much damage they caused. This led to rockets being used as weapons of destruction in many wars to follow. In what was known as the Space Race, the Soviet Union, which present-day Russia was once part of, launched a rocket to outer space carrying a satellite named Sputnik 1 in 1957. Not to be outdone by their rivals, the U.S. soon followed, launching their own satellite successfully a year later. Rockets have three main components, the fuselage, nose cone, and tail fins. The fuselage is where the fuel is stored and the chemical reactions take place. The nose cone helps make the rocket more aerodynamic and move through the sky smoothly. The tail fins also aid in this. The fuselage is filled with fuel, which is lit on fire and burned. As the fuel burns, it turns from a liquid or a solid, depending on the type of fuel they use, into a gas. As this gas builds up inside the rocket, it creates a massive amount of pressure in the cylindrical fuselage. At a certain point, this pressure is released through the bottom of the rocket, pushing it forward through the sky. This is known as jet propulsion. Now that we know a little more about how rockets work, it's time to dive into building our own. The materials we will need for this activity are scissors, tape, construction paper, and a large straw. I recommend using a boba tea or a smoothie straw for this activity. If you don't have any of those laying around and you don't have a cafe nearby to grab a refreshment to reuse one, check your sports bottles or Tervis cups because they usually have thicker straws. We will need two pieces of construction paper for this activity. The first piece should be about six inches by three inches. And if you don't have a ruler handy, just use a dollar bill for reference. The second piece of construction paper can be any scrap piece. Mine's about the size of a post-it note. All right, let's dive into the build. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take some tape and pre-pull off a couple pieces. So now that I got some tape, I wanna take my larger piece of paper and my straw, and I wanna hold my paper long ways alongside my straw. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna roll the paper around the straw. To do that, I'm gonna take my straw, and I'm gonna set it down on top of my paper. I'm then gonna work my hands underneath the straw to grab the corner or the edge of the paper. I'm then just gonna simply roll the paper around the straw. Okay, just like that. Now, now that I have this done, one thing I wanna do is I wanna make sure that it still slides on and off my straw. Because if it doesn't, that means I rolled it a little bit too tight. So I wanna make sure that it's able to slide. Take it off and see if you can put your straw back in. If you can't, you rolled it too tight. So go ahead and re-roll it. What we're building right now is our fuselage. So I'm gonna grab a piece of that tape that I already pulled off and I'm gonna put it on the seam just to kind of hold it in place. Air is going to be the fuel of our rocket, and we don't want any fuel escaping our fuselage. That wouldn't be good. So when we tape, we want to make sure that the entire seam is covered in tape, that no air can escape anywhere along the seam. We also want to make sure that we are not taping to the straw. So let's tape it there. Perfect. Our next step is going to be to build our nose cone. Now, what I like to do to decide which side is going to be my top is I like to kind of take the straw out and see which side is easier for me to put on. That side was pretty easy. This side's a little bit more of a struggle. Okay, so since this side's a little bit more of a struggle for me, I'm going to go ahead and make that my top. To make your nose cone, really easy. Try to think of a paper airplane. What we're going to do is we're going to smush the top of our cylinder, of our fuselage. We're going to smush it flat. Okay, see how that's flat? Okay, smush it flat. Now we're going to take each corner and fold them down. And we're going to make like a little triangle. And that little triangle is going to make our nose cone. So we're going to take our tape again. Take a little piece. You don't need a big piece. And we're just going to secure this shape in place. Okay. So now what we've done is we've created a fuselage and a nose cone. And more importantly, what we've done is we've only given air one place to escape, which is the bottom of our rocket. 
okay? That's the only place that the air, which is the fuel of this rocket, can get out. Now, we have our fuselage, we have our nose cone. What are we missing? We're missing our tail fins. To build those, we're going to take our smaller piece of paper, and we're also going to take our scissors. And this piece of paper can be any scrap piece of paper that you have laying around your house. Doesn't matter. What we're going to do is we're going to take one of the corners and we're just going to fold it in. All right. And that's going to create for us a little triangle. And we're going to take our scissors and we're going to go ahead and cut that triangle out. Okay. Perfect. Now, when I unfold it, I have a square. Okay. When I fold it, I have a triangle. What I'm going to do is I'm going to fold it in half again. Right. So the shape that I have is a smaller triangle. Now, I'm going to unfold it. And you should have one prominent line. Okay. That's going to be that first fold. So that's going to be my prominent line. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to cut down that line. Okay, so now I have two triangles that have this seam, this fold, okay? And that's going to create our tail fins. Okay, it's time to attach those fins. So what we're going to do is we're going to take a little piece of tape, and we're going to take our fin, and we're going to fold it in half again, and we're going to put the piece of tape down the seam. All right. Now, you want to make sure that your tape is not too long because you don't want it covering the tip of your triangle here because it's just going to make your life a little bit harder when it's time to tape down the other side. All right. So what we're going to do is we're going to just take our rocket and we're going to tape the other side to, uh, to the rocket. And now we're going to fold over it and put a piece of tape on this side. Again, you don't want to go with too big of a piece of tape. So you just want to put it on that seam. So half on the seam, half on the rocket. All right. Now when we straighten this out, we've created our first two tail fins. So now we got to put some on the opposite side. Same process. We're going to take a little piece of tape, not too big. We're going to take our other triangle. And we're going to put a piece of tape half on, half off. All right. And we're going to stick that on our rocket. And just like before, we're going to take another little tiny piece of tape. We're going to fold this over and secure the other side. Half on, half off. Now we can just kind of bend it and shape it into place. And what we've done is we've created a rocket with four tail fins. Now, when it's time to test our rocket, there's a couple things to remember. Number one, when you are ready to launch it, don't hold on to the rocket. Because when you blow, you're going to be holding it onto the straw and it's not going to launch off. Number two, if it's not coming off our straw, slide it up a little bit and try it again. So there you have it. I hope you enjoyed the build and have fun playing with your rocket. Remember though, don't aim it at anybody's face. We don't want anybody getting hurt. If you enjoyed this video, please make sure to like and subscribe. I would really appreciate it as I continue to grow my channel. See you next time.